So beyond the introduction, for you, I am well. I will be reviewing a very good movie. It's a biopic. You can find it on YouTube. It's called DC 9-11 Crisis. And it basically what it does is, beyond being a biopic, really goes into the George Bush administration, what they were thinking, what they were doing, and where they were. Because certain points throughout the day, obviously, for national security reasons, you couldn't and shouldn't know where the president was during 11. That makes sense. I get that now, looking at it. But the this, to me, is a very important movie for anybody to watch. And no matter what side of the aisle you're on, because... Like I previously stated, it gives the in-depth in look at Line 11 through the administration's eyes. Not just one person, but everybody. You have Vice President Dick Cheney, Condoleezza Rice, Treasury Secretary, I am forgetting somebody, FBI. I liked it. Their counterparts, particularly the top three, which is... George Bush, Dick Cheney, and Condoleezza Rice were spitting images of their counterparts, and I love that. However, regarding the counterparts, George Bush, the actual president, <laughs> not the one in the movie, has a deeper voice than the one in the movie does. I am not sure if that was intentional or what or if it's just something they weren't worried about but I did notice that also they have raw footage from 9-11 in, in the movie which again makes this movie real in my opinion I also loved the White House set and the Camp David set Camp David set seemed to me number one and importantly, like a camp, but also really felt like a cabin. It didn't feel like a set at all. It definitely felt like it was filmed on Camp David. Granted, I have never been to Camp David. I don't think I will ever get to Camp David. But I definitely feel and felt the nature of that set. And also, of the time, too, they definitely made me going through the emotions again of that. So those are the big takeaways from that movie. I also liked particularly two scenes in the movie. One, going from the White House to New York. And poetically, or maybe not so much, Battle Ham of the Republic was playing. I cried at that. Now granted, I cried most times at 9-11s, anything for that matter. I also loved the missing persons. Uh, stating regarding the, let's see if I have the name, the Jarvis Center, yes, the Jacob Jarvis Center, that is, and I love that because that felt raw, and I cried at that too, so, those are the two points that I cried at, when did you cry while watching this movie if you've seen it, but if you have not seen it, prepare yourself, you're gonna cry, I also liked I, I really did like the story overall. It's definitely a different movie. The person playing Laura Bush, President's wife, unlike the other cast who looked like the corner parts, this lady did not look like a corner part, and I'm. I don't know why. I don't know. And nothing against the lady. But something was definitely off with the corner part. I don't think it necessarily was the hair. But maybe the outfits. Try not to disrespect her. But the one lady was not the Laura Bush. Felt that to be a little unfortunate. The cast is as followed. George W. Bush was played by Timothy Buttons. Donald Rumsfeld by John Cunningham. Colin Powell 
really did look like his corner part, and I forgot to mention that earlier, was played by David F A S O T E N O, and John Ashcroft was played by Gregory I T Z I N. Condoleezza Rice was played by Penny Johnson Gerald. Dick Cheney was played by Lawrence Pressman. Norm M I E T A Treasury Secretary was played by George T A. K E I, which is pretty cool because I wasn't expecting that George to be in this movie. That was pretty nice to see. I mostly know George from sci fi stuff. So it's nice to see him, in my opinion, out of his element and do some, a movie like this. If you've seen the movie, have you. What did you take away from it? If you have not. Now go find it. It's a very good movie. I like it. I think I may watch it uh, on every 9-11 after. Every 9-11 from this year on. Alright, so, last thing. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. I am Dave, and this is my life. And as always, thank you for watching. Thanks for watching. I am Dave, and this is my life. Last thing, of, before we go, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Now, the one point that I wanted to make is the person playing Laura Bush did not like, like her carno. <coughs> Treasury check when the president was going to D.C. from the White House. Sorry. We do that. I feel worried again. By <laughs> making, not making the movie, but... That, that, I actually think I covered everything. All right. One. Well, that's two. One.